Hello, this is the Saturday wrap. Actually, it's the second attempt at the Saturday wrap. The Saturday wrap for Saturday the 16th of July 2022 looks at time 11.13. Yeah, um, a bit behind schedule. Okay, so it was Camo and Streamlabs, and it was all working fine, um, and then the sound siloned. Um, I probably overdrove it, uh, hadn't set the levels, need to do a little bit more time on that. In the meantime, auto levels with the Windows camera app, and uh, a C925E. Yeah, tech. So... Um, right. Ooh, yeah. Beer. Um, vocation. Araki. Um, New Zealand hops. Double IPA. 8% alcohol by volume. Right. Um, left-handed giant glass. Fruity. Juicy. Tropical. Stone fruit. Soft. Gently bitter. Lovely mouthfeel. And at eight percent alcohol, well hidden, and it's good for fighting hot weather. Anyway, so I'm um, back on to this. If you've never seen it before, this is me going back over the last week. Um, tech, beer, politics, money, odds and sods, things. So let's start off. For week ending Saturday the 16th, the word or phrase of the week. Well, politics. There is a lot of it about at the moment. And I'm enjoying Matt's cartoons in the Telegraph um, because he is poking gentle fun at everyone. Satire. Yeah, I enjoy it a lot. So, um... You can really get away from it uh, on the radio, on podcasts, on the TV, in spoons with subtitles. Yeah, tons of it. And it will run and run. The summer is normally called the silly season because not much happens. And most of the news stories are man bites dog. It's not at the moment. It's wall to wall. It's great. App of the week. App of the week is for Windows and it feeds my obsessions with apps that tell you what other apps need to be updated. Sumo. S-U-M-O. It's freemium. It'll scan your device and say this needs updating, that needs updating, this needs updating. It's really good. However, if you want to be able to just tell it to do all the updates, you have to pay. I really don't want to. Well, shell up for another subscription, but I'm not sure. It works well, and my existing ones are a bit. Well, I need two, and they don't get them all, and this looks like it gets everything. Uh, we shall see. The thing of the week. The thing of the week, well, this is just for whales, although mm, um, amber heat warning. Started with Sunday, then Sunday and Monday, then Sunday, Monday and Tuesday. And then on Friday, London, the southeast and bits of England, mainly the central bits, red heat warning. Over 40 degrees Celsius, threat to life. Other countries seem to do pretty well, although... We are optimised in this country for drizzle and mild weather. And even then, we're not very good at it. Um, I fully suspect that the roads will melt. Rail tracks will expand and buckle. Um, we're already on the Rumney Valley line on Transport for Wales Rail um, on a specific hot weather schedule. And that was since last Friday, which was hot, but it wasn't that hot. Um, and I fully anticipate also a ban on buying frying pans in Tesco's because that seems to be the go-to for anything that's not particularly good in this world. Hmm. 
yeah okay so the look back on the week apropos of nothing i was on the 50 last saturday morning heading towards newport and i didn't realize at the time until they got out their passports which were blue and yellow there were two ukrainians luckily enough the buses were running last saturday morning and um, not always been the case and i just thought oh they seemed like you and me really like you and me <sighs> civilians are the ones who suffer in these wars in fact everyone suffers it's not the same anyway um into the john wallace linton they were having a curry sale i was sorely tempted um i was making up my mind and such like and thinking well there's quite a lot of sales occasionally it would be once in a blue moon but now you're seeing a lot of them and i think it's something to do with well as an example the tumble really quiet all through the week so their orders based on normal usage there's just too much food and it's getting near its sell by date so they are doing managers sales the trouble is, is by the time I decided yes, they'd all gone. So there couldn't have been that many, but a Saturday morning curry for breakfast. Definitely. Absolutely, definitely. But mm. So anyway, it was um, the John Wallace Linton, Pen and Way, Carver Fish Bar. Um, I tried Le Pabit Place. Do they don't open until four o'clock on a Saturday? Okay not sure why um so he was in tiny rebel um and in a bus um and the app said the bus was running and it didn't arrive and i had to wait a half an hour for the next one contacted the developers they said sometimes you need to check to see it says running on time because if it doesn't say they're not running on time they might not be running which i thought was less than helpful yeah i think they will eventually fix it but i think it will be a lot of time and why they issue an app where buses are not running are showing as running because i believe bus drivers have to sign into the system lord only knows public transport as i have said before not really for the public pa sunday was melty uh, Sunday was more planting out. Um, I think they were, they were cucumbers, although they could have been peppers. Um, my notes are a bit out. Monday had an email from um, Tesco's mobile, of which I have a SIM at the moment, 12 month SIM, um, 15 pounds a month, 25 gigs useful to have a backup because three their network is still over congested and in sp specific places especially tiny rebels bar in newport the coverage is rubbish also the throughput is rubbish um and um tesco's which is a top o2 works a treat long story short i re-upped 12 pound for 30 gigs 12 month contract winning only slightly though um also on monday the amber heat warning came in uh tuesday it turned into sunday and monday also um with prime day tuesday and wednesday coming along the price of the pixel 6 came down i think it was 4.49 in argos i was debating 606a phone that exists against a phone that's coming the flagship against the middle order two things one cost 6a is going to be cheaper and also the 6a has a better sensor under the um, screen sensor for your finger and i have heard there have been a lot of hardware issues with the 6 so 6a it is i didn't spend anything Ah, midweek was hot. Midweek was, well, Spoons is quiet again, but they have a great aircon. Wednesday was the first vote, wall to wall. 
things going on, etc. Um, Thursday, Wales went into panic mode over the heat. Started to talk about things like schools closing and... Uh, yeah, frying pans. That's the thing. Um, I had a... Well, I had a message over Facebook Messenger from an ex-colleague who I haven't seen for a good couple of years. I cannot sign into my iPad. You don't actually sign into iPads, which was a concern. Anyway, I was on a kit at the time. Um, so after that, um, well, TLDR, hard reset. Power button and the home button together until you get the Apple logo and it fixed it all. And I am tech support to people who I haven't seen for ages, still. Hmm, there you go. Semi hero. Um, Twitter went down on Thursday. Half an hour. Twitter and Elon. Um, Delaware court. September court case. Elon wants January, or is it February? It will run and run. Good news for the tech shows. <laughs> right. Um, and also on Thursday, the Apple Air M2 reviews. It's really fast. I'm glad I haven't gone for the 256 base level version um, because the hard disk uh, or the SSD is only one chip and it is slow. Um, everything else is tickety boo apart from the webcam, which is better than the last one, but still not great. Still, um, I'm glad. I purchased one. I'm talking that Friday morning, checked my um, bank account for the bank account that I used to pay for it, and the money's gone. Up until now, they just reserved the money. Now it's gone. I'm hoping, against hope, um, they will push up the delivery date. Well, you never know. I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to setting it up. I'm looking forward to doing lots of things on it. Uh, especially detail and setup. Friday, London, Central England, South East, red warning, threat to life. Um, we tend to go abroad for this sort of weather, and all we're told is be careful, don't drink too much. Yeah, here we are, probably with a melty tarmac on the roads, and as I've said before, um, train tracks buckling and chaos and everything. Meanwhile, Friday night for all mankind, human issues on Mars, on Earth. Um, you know, Mars and it's the 1990s. There's vodka involved as well. I don't think that's too much of a spoiler because, well, Russians. So um, that is it, really. Um, comments, as usual. Um, just post them to the place that you see this. Um, thank you very much for your time. And hopefully no Ceyloning, because I'm running out of beer. Bye-bye.